Hello people, welcome back to another video. Today we have took a little trip down to White Park Bay, which is actually right here. Just gonna wander around, snap some photos. We've actually never been down here before, but heard that it's pretty damn cool. And so far it looks nice. It's also uh, 17 degrees in Ireland, which is kind of ridiculous, but yeah. Let's get some photos. It's quite dramatic looking. I don't know if you can sort of notice on the GoPro, but these cliffs are pretty dramatic looking. There's also uh, some cows that just sort of linger around on this beach. You'll probably see them right over there. And then there's also this sort of old wreck of a building. I don't know what it is, but I've seen photos of it before and it makes for a pretty great subject. That is my cup of tea right there. That is some pretty nice lighting, I would say. Okay, this doesn't uh, doesn't really look like Ireland. And with the sort of film simulation recipe I very quickly put together through the viewfinder, it looks even less like Ireland. That's quite nice. Got some people on the beach. Might have to wait till those people all the way over there get right to the center. Yeah, of that wee section of beach. Getting there. Try one in landscape and then I'll go for it. That'll work. Be nice if they had some shadows, but can't have everything. If their shadows were coming along the beach. Ah, oh, birds. Oh, I missed them. There's more. Trying to get the old uh, gate shot. And it's a wooden gate too. Although it's got some signs on it which I might have to crop out, but... <laughs> I think I got those two birds, but I'll maybe wait again. Be your bird watcher. That is a pretty delightful sky though. I'm gonna go with F5.6 to get a wee bit of depth, but not much. No? No birds. Hmm. Wait, there they are. Where? Oh, they're just out of shot. I was zoomed in a bit too much. Oh, they're just out of shot. Always two at a time. Patiently waiting. Bird. Bird. <laughs> I think I got them. <laughs> they could have been better possession, but... Do you want me to sell them? Yeah, if you could fly in nice... Separation just through the middle of my frame, please. There might have to be a little bit of info shopping done there to <laughs> rectify that. But... All right, this little uh, bench is kind of cool. Maybe I could get Christina to sit on it. Do you want to just? I'll try one without you, and then I'll try one with you. Okay, this is kind of tricky to frame because the bench is like a silhouette, but... And then we have the building there as well. Not sure. But 
Not sure I can really get it the way I want to. But it might look cool with you sitting yeah. on it. Oh, you want to take a seat on it? Sit probably to the right hand side. Okay, see if we can get Christina as sort of a silhouette. These are kind of cool. I know. I'm gonna try one more of Christina really low because the lower I go, the more of a silhouette I can make it look. I think it'll look cool. Alright, so have this building again. It's actually like half a building, but it's a lot bigger than it looked from up there. But this, these rocks here frame it sort of very nicely. And then we have the very nice light on the beach and very soft light hitting the building. And something like that. Gotta try the same one in the landscape as well. This is pretty nice. That is my type of scene right there. It's actually pretty big that building, isn't it? It's a lot bigger than it looks. All right, let's move on. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see, but right up on top of that hill up there there's a cow which is pretty random and if he would lift his head up he'd make a nice silhouette possibly you want me to do a cow call? <laughs> if you know one <laughs> I mean it's not great it's kind of funny at the same time just straighten your head please yeah, don't worry about it. But we're finally uh, finally at the beach after a long walk down and many stops. I think I've said this many times before, but the beach is not really the type of spot I want to come for photos. But what I do like is the grass, like this. It always has a really nice colour to it, especially at sunrise or sunset. Which normally looks cool. I'm going to use the grass here and the sand to frame that white house up on the hill. Might look kind of cool. Nothing special, but looks kind of cool, I think. And the grass against the sky always looks kind of cool, so I suppose I'll get a very simple shot like that. Sky's nice and blue, quite clear. Very minimal. Maybe my shadow might look kind of cool. I'm gonna steal your shot idea. <laughs> Low down, there's all these kind of nice white, white stones, white little rocks and pebbles along the beach. And I'm gonna try and get real low and get a shot of the cliff and the water in the distance. If this works, 
It may look kind of cool. Hopefully you can see what I'm trying to do. So I'm just really low. I can't really see my screen. It's the one annoyance. I think that might look kind of cool. If I crop in a little bit. I stole Christina's idea. I stole your idea and I think it worked. What? I stole your idea, you want to see? Going down low to the rocks. Until <laughs> we zoomed in, straightened up. Yeah, it's good. Okay, so like I said, I do like the uh, grass and the white sand here. Kind of got some layers with the cliff and sort of the trees and the fence on the hill in the distance. And then we have the white rocks up here of the White Rock Beach. I think I'll go for a very minimal sort of straight on shot. Might work. I go F8 to make sure everything's in focus. Very sort of simple. I'll maybe try it in landscape as well. A bird flying in the sky would be kind of nice too, but actually that cottage up there might work. That's kind of cool. Do you want me to get a little portrait of you? What? Of that in the background or the water in the background? You want to take your coat? I auto on. Okay, so if you face me, I sort of want the light hitting the side here. Yeah, I even turn around like that. What if I get you sort of backlit? That might look cool with this filter. <laughs> this might be the last set of shots because I'm running out of battery. And that is pretty much where this one finished up. Um, first of all, thanks for your patience with this one um, for the past like two weeks. Both me and Christina were literally down with the sickness. Any disturbed fans out there will get that and uh, if you aren't then uh, yeah we were sick for like at least a couple of weeks. And we appreciate the messages that we got from some of you guys as well and um, we are pretty much all recovered now and it was just nice to get out and take some photos again and it was also nice that we got some decent weather for a change some very nice weather actually 17 degrees here at this time of year in Ireland is not common I would say <laughs> and it's actually been consistently nice so hopefully we can get out and do some more before uh, the rain comes back which is inevitable here in Ireland <laughs> favorite photos from the session there is kind of a few that I like the first one is actually the one of the gate where we had to wait for a while to for the birds to fly through um yes i did have to do a little bit of tweaking in photoshop just to move the birds there were actually two birds flying across they just weren't perfectly centered as they are in the picture but um yeah i mean technically i got it i feel like this one is just a very me shot if that makes sense it's the type of scenes i'd be looking for when we go out adventuring and taking photos and stuff and yeah i just really like how that one turned out and another shot I really like is the half torn down building. Um, I believe it was a school or something to do with a, a school years ago with the beach in the background and the cliffs. And I think what I really like about this picture is there is an actual subject in it. Obviously the building in this case. And I've mentioned this um, a few times on the channel, but I'm a huge fan of James Popsis, who is actually another photographer, YouTuber. And most people would probably consider him a landscape photographer, sort of. He sort of explains himself that he takes photos of things in landscapes rather than landscapes. And that normally it's a man-made thing in those environments that 
really gets his attention to take photos and stuff and i think it's very similar to the style of photography that i like and the things that i'm drawn to like the gate for example and this building and um, without them i i find it hard to find compositions and stuff um i don't know some people some people are different but i think i can relate a lot to what he says in his videos if you haven't checked out his videos i would definitely recommend heading over to his channel and um, great photographer and i think he is a very similar style to me although he's a lot better than me but similar style i think i took that photo on the way down to the beach and i also took another one on the way back up which was towards the end of sunset maybe not quite after it but right at the end um it just kind of shows the difference between sort of peak golden hour time and then the later stages of golden hour it's just a little less contrasty essentially but i like both of them and then i also like the portraits of christina um there's a few different ones i like the backlit one it's not something i've tried a lot but because i had the cine soft filter on um, i thought i'd try it um, with a little bit of editing i really like how that one turned out and then the other one where she's more straight onto the camera this one i actually took two shots um I, I mentioned in the video that one of them is a raw edit and the other one is pretty much straight out of camera and i used fuji x raw studio um to make some adjustments to the film recipe that i was using at the time i honestly don't know which one i like more i, I think i'm leaning towards the one that's pretty much straight out of camera with the few adjustments in fuji x raw studio um it just looks really nice and the color of the sand looks better in it than the one that i added it um but yeah kind of cool that that turned out that nice straight out of camera um so yeah i'm looking forward to playing around with the fuji film recipe um for the next session and it's just cool that you can always then just edit the raw if you feel like you don't like how it looks but um yeah i really like how those ones turned out but anyway yeah that's definitely enough blabbering for one video hopefully you enjoyed that one and um, first video back in a couple of weeks um yeah pretty much back to normal now thankfully hopefully we can have a live stream in the next few days after this video goes up but we'll let you know and um, we have got a quite a big update as well as to where we will actually be over the course of the summer um quite exciting it's definitely a change of plans but yeah if you enjoyed this one make sure to give it a thumbs up maybe consider subscribing if you want to see more and yeah as we always say take it easy don't be a stranger